The world's first Pokemon Go legendary capture. Is this real? Is this fake? We'll you'll be surprised to know that a lot of this is actually real. We're going to be taking a look at what's been going on, how people have got legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Let's check out some legendary Pokemon right here in this video. So you guys may remember a few days ago I tweeted out this image of Articuno being held in a gym. Everyone was going crazy. Some people thought it was my Articuno. It was not. I wish it was my Articuno. Now, unfortunately, that was not the case, but it turns out some people do actually have the Pokemon or they did have the Pokemon and it was real. But this isn't the only footage that's been going around. There's footage of Mewtwo's, Ditto's, as you guys know, but no one has gotten yet as well. Moltres, Zapdos and tons more Pokemon. So what's the real stuff and what's the fake stuff? We're going to be taking a look. So first of all, let's focus on the real stuff. This Articuno, my friend. So on screen here, this isn't me. I wish it was me, but this guy actually got Articuno for real. You can see some proof of him going through his front phone, using the Articuno, having its animation. Also so showing some emails from Niantic, the guys that actually developed the Pokemon Go app, and exactly how he got hold of it. Now, this has actually happened to a few different people, a very select few different people. In this guy's case, apparently the story is he had a Pidgeot, it then disappeared from his account, he emailed Niantic, complained and said, where's his Pidgeot gone? So to redeem the fact that he'd lost a Pidgeot, they gave his account Articuno. Now that's what the emails say, it's a pretty far-fetched story if you ask me, but he had the Pokemon, and as you can see it was real, and he managed to put it into gyms, he battled with it, and I've got some gameplay actually of Articuno in a gym battling as well, but no one actually has these Pokemon anymore. So Niantic came out with a statement, that explains exactly what went on and what they did to basically make sure that no one had any legendary Pokemon anymore. So they say, We recently noticed a few legendary Pokemon got into a few accounts when they shouldn't have. To preserve the game's integrity and as a measurement of fairness, we have rectified the situation and revoked the legendary Pokemon from the trainer's account. So can you just imagine for a second uh, logging onto your Pokemon Go account and seeing an Articuno or a Moltres or a legendary Pokemon just placed into your account. It would be absolutely amazing. Obviously, these guys are really excited. They no longer have them. They have been revoked. What did they get as compensation? <laughs> well, all they got is a few lucky eggs and a few lures, which I guess is better than nothing. But from having gone from getting a legendary to just getting a few bonus items, I'm sure they're a little bit gutted as well. Definitely considering they're one of the first people in the world to get these legendary Pokemon. Now, obviously, Articuno was not received properly. It wasn't caught properly. It was simply placed into accounts by accident, apparently, in the antics say. So how are we actually going to get these legendaries? It's something we're still talking about and we'll also talk about in a little bit. But first of all, there's some very clever people out there that are amazing with 4D animation. Is 4D animation even a thing? 4D animation, I don't think it is, to be honest. Blow wind at you and stuff when you watch the video. <laughs> there's some very clever people out there which work very well with 3D animation and they actually put videos together that show them capturing Mewtwo, throwing Pokeballs at it, it being added to the Pokedex. Unfortunately, the clips that you see here are all fake and are not real. However, a lot of the 3D items used to create the Pokemon have been taken from the in-game files within Pokemon Go. So it's a good idea of how these Pokemon will look when they're finally capturable, finally obtainable, and finally usable within Pokemon Go. Now, included in this fake list was not only Mewtwo, but also Ditto. We also have all of the legendary birds as well on top of the Articuno, so that's Zapdos and Moltres. And on top of that, there's also some gameplay where users have managed to pull in the Pokemon into their Pokemon Go accounts and then go into gyms and battle people. And this gameplay includes Ditto battling, Articuno battling, Zapdos battling, and Ultra, also Moltres battling as well. So all of them going at it, you can see their moves in action, how they're going to animate, how they're going to look, and you can actually see them taking on other Pokemon in a gym. So we take a look at this very rare footage, we actually get to see them battling out in a gym. We've got Articuno up first, then Moltres, and finally Zapdos. What I want to know from you guys is which of the three legendary birds would you most want to have? So leave it down below. We're going to be going over some of the CPs and the stats of these legendary birds in a bit. So you may want to check that out first before you leave a comment. But maybe straight off the bat, you just let me know which one you prefer. I honestly would probably go with Zapdos, but they're all awesome. And here we get to see also their secondary moves in action as well. 
Articuno has Twister. We then have Moltres and Zapdos. We'll take a look at their special moves in a bit as well. But if you don't know, basically all Pokemon have different movesets they can obtain and have while in battle or while being used. So for example, Snorlax, just literally as an example, could have Earthquake as its secondary move or Body Slam as its secondary move. So for whatever reason, Articuno seemed to have Twister. Not really the best secondary move in the game. As you can see here, Moltres' secondary move takes a long time to build up, so it's going to be a powerful one. And it actually turns out to be Earthquake as well. So it could be possible if it's got another secondary move set where it could have Flamethrower or Fire Blast as well. So lots of different options. But the main cool thing here is just seeing all these Pokemon in action. Whether or not it's been glitched or hacked or cheated, it doesn't matter. We just get to see what it's going to be like to have these legendary birds used in battle, which is something we may not see, like, in reality. You may not actually see legitimately for a very, very long time. So it's cool to see all of this going on. Finally, we've got Zapdos. It doesn't actually tell us what the special move is here when he uses it. So I can only assume it's something like Thunder. That would make the most sense, right, for an electric uh, legendary bird. But looks pretty damn cool from the back. And that is going to be all three of the legendary birds in action in a gym. But next up, let's actually take a look at some of the stats and more information on all of these legendary Pokemon. Now, when you see these fake images going around all of these legendaries, often they have Photoshop CP levels of like 5,000, 6,000, 10,000. That is not the case. We actually know through the in-game files the exact CP maximum these legendary Pokemon can have. So I'm going to share with you guys the CP maxes that Mew, Mewtwo, and also all of the three legendary birds can get. So you guys can have an idea of what to look out for when they finally come out. And if you see a CP level above that, you know they're not even real, so don't even bother with them. So if you look on screen here, we will take a look at Articuno, Zapdos, and also Moltres. So starting off with Articuno, it's going to have a max CP of 2,980 or so. So not too bad. If we go ahead and move ahead to the other two birds, Zapdos will have a maximum CP of around 3,115. So a lot higher than Articuno. Finally, Moltres with the highest CP maximum at 3,240. You can see we're going to get to see slightly different CP maximums for these legendary birds, just as we have with the normal Pokemon in game as well. For example, a Dragonite is a really high maximum CP, but for example, like a Magic Carp is going to have a really low maximum CP. So these legendary Pokemon are going to have some of the highest CPs in the game, but it's not going to be like four, five, six, ten thousand, as I said. So be wary of that. Now, however, if we take a look at Mew and and Mewtwo, we're going to see some extremely high CP levels. For Mew, we have got around 3,300 as its maximum CP level. And then over for Mewtwo, 4,145. A huge, huge CP level. In fact, I think it's the only Pokemon in the game that can go over the 4,000 CP number. So Mewtwo, when it's finally available somehow, someplace, we don't know yet, is going to be absolutely unreal, super strong, really good stats, and a CP of over 4,000. Now, the big question that keeps on coming up, probably the big question you guys are asking yourself, and you're probably talking about down below in the comment section, is how do these Pokemon actually become obtainable? When are we going to be able to get them? We still don't know yet. The biggest thing that a lot of people are saying is the linking between your team and also the three legendary birds. So you've got Team Mystic, which is of course linking with Articuno. You've got Team Instinct, which is linking with Zapdos. And Team Valor, which would link in with Moltres. Now, uh, there's supposed to be a trading system implemented at some point in the near future for Pokemon Go. So, if you are linked into your team and the legendary that links in with your team, you, of course, the only way you can then obtain the other legendary bird would be through a trading system and having to share with your friends or in other teams to get them. Now, that isn't confirmed yet, but obviously with such a heavy emphasis on the three team colors and a big, big hype towards the three legendary birds and how they're going to be coming out, it would make sense that those two link in in some some fashion and some way. Now, if I, I'm on the team of Mystic, for example, and I would love a Zapdos, so I don't know how it's going to work. We'll have to find out, and I'll keep you guys updated. Now, for the even bigger legendaries, Mew and Mewtwo, again, it's still in the dark. We do not know. I'm not even sure if Niantic have a plan as to how they're going to release these Pokemon. So if we take a look at places like New York, Central Park, if a strong wild Pokemon appears, like a Dragonite or a Vaporeon, for example, happened recently, Hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people, will sprint to that spawn point. They will stop roads, they will stop cars, 
to capture that Pokemon, it goes absolutely crazy. So if you imagine it just for a random Vaporeon spawn in the middle of Central Park, how on earth do they think they're going to be able to release legendaries at specific points? It'll be crazy, absolutely mental. They would shut down towns. It'll be insane. Now, one theory that I've mentioned before when talking about Mewtwo is that only certain people that have completed a certain amount of number on their Pokedex will get access to these events just to basically lower the numbers and lower the number of people that will be going to these spots or trying to capture these rare Pokemon to make it as hard to get as possible and of course keep the rarity for all of these legendaries or they simply make it maybe a timed event where it doesn't matter where you are as long as you've got an internet connection and access to your phone you will have a chance to capture or come up against these legendaries and give them a shot at trying to capture them so we'll have to find out how these legendaries will become obtainable and I'll keep you guys updated but for the moment if you saw any of that Articuno footage or any of the Articuno screenshots going around it was real but unfortunately those people no longer have those Pokemon and for the rest of the footage of Mew Two, Mew, Ditto, or the other legendary birds. It's all fake at the moment, and no one has obtained them legitimately. We'll have to wait and see how you can get them. So, if you guys really enjoyed the video, if you're excited for another Pokemon Go full on episode, we've got more coming out this weekend. Do not worry, tomorrow is a big one. So, get excited for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Pokemon Go episode.